अरे ये क्या है एक्चुअल लर्निंग हैपन्स आउटसाइड इन द रियल वर्ल्ड ऑब्जर्विंग टेकिंग इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट थिंग्स अराउंड अस बट वॉट इज टूडेज इंस्पिरेशन द ब्यूटी ऑफ नेचर हाउ नेचर हैज इंस्पायर माइंड ब्लोइंग सोल्यूशंस टू डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स अक्रॉस इंजीनियरिंग आर्किटेक्चर हेल्थ केयर दैट्स बायोमिमिक्री चेंजेस द वे वी लुक एट साइंस लाइफ दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट दैट राइट गाइस चेंजेस द वे वी लुक एट डिफरेंट थिंग्स अराउंड अस इफ यू बिलीव इन दिस डू सब्सक्राइब एंड ज्वाइन दिस लिटिल कम्युनिटी एट आइडिया की पाठशाला Thanks to Ram for this incredible shot of Khalid Faisal. Many shots in this video belong to him, an avid photographer who has won and been featured in different photography salon. You can contact him on Insta at Photo Snap. So you guys ready to be lost in nature? Talking of being lost, Mr. Pinto was walking in his office building and suddenly he went boing. It was a glass wall and it was so clear that he just did not see. and he got a little bump on his head but do you know over 1 billion birds die by crashing into invisible glass skyscrapers at the same time birds never ever crash into the invisible spider's web do you know how and why the material and the pattern used by spiders in the web reflects ultraviolet light making it brighter warning clearly to the birds boss Take a U-turn. Don't crash into my home like Angry Birds. Mimicking the spider's web, U.S.-based glass company Arnold Glass designed Ornilux Mikado, an interesting glass pane with a web of UV stripes that the birds can see even from a distance, bringing down the bird skyscraper collision rate by almost 75 percentage. Scary sight, right? What if the rope snaps and the cleaner falls? But what if he can stick to the building like a Spider-Man or like the members of the lizard family? But how do the lizards cling to any surface? Gecko, a small lizard with super sticky feet, has a toe pad with millions of tiny tiny hair that fits into the invisible pores of any surface. अरे ये क्या सच्ची का स्पाइडरमैन यस इंस्पायर्ड बाय गेको गेको ग्लव वॉज बॉर्न टू सपोर्ट क्लाइंबर्स एंड दिस वॉज इवॉल्व फर्दर विथ नासा टू क्रिएट गेको रोबोट्स मेनली टू ग्रैब एंड क्लीन स्पेस जंक हाँ उधर भी कचड़ा है डिड यू नो ओवर हंड्रेड मिलियन पीसेस ऑफ मैन मेड जंक गो राउंड एंड राउंड प्लानट अर्थ पोसिंग अ हाई रिस्क फॉर अवर प्लानट There is so much pollution everywhere but imagine if buildings can clean air just like trees and imagine if the same building also cleans itself and it doesn't need a window cleaner oh my god how is that even possible thanks to these nanoparticles called titania or titanium dioxide which when applied to a building surface reacts with ultraviolet light and then with oxygen and water to create a self cleaning agent that removes all kinds of unwanted stuff from its surface another unwanted stuff is nitrous oxide which is released by all these vehicles and it's a toxic pollutant causing smog and all kinds of health problems you know what does titania do titania breaks this toxic gas into harmless salts thereby helping to purify our air in fact there is a hospital in mexico that is coated with titania and it is estimated that that hospital alone nullifies pollution of 8750 cars per day oh that's amazing and all this inspiration has come from you know what the lotus leaves that remain clean even in muddy water but how do they remain clean the surface of a lotus leaf repels water when water falls it simply rolls and as it rolls it collects the dirt and it slides away 
Looking at this, the healthcare guy said we definitely need something like this. There is so much pressure to maintain high level of cleanliness. That's how nanoseptic skins and mats were born. These are self-cleaning surfaces that are applied to different high contact points like reception counter, doors. But how does it function? These surfaces contain something called nano crystals, which, when combined with kind of visible light, creates a cleaning effect much much greater than bleach. Just because you and me cannot see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The moment you start exploring the unseen, magic happens. We shall understand how to biomimic in our next episode. What has been your thought, your realization, your learning from today's episode? Do share your thoughts on Insta and in the comment section of YouTube. You can also write to Springy at springs.ideas at gmail.com. Thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful weekend.